For those of you who are new here, Flowdesk is an email marketing software that is currently in beta that's changing the way that people email their email list. The reason why is they have beautiful designs and affordable prices. With an affiliates link, you can lock in to the beta rate of 50% off for the lifetime of your account, which is $19 no matter how big your list becomes. Because of this strategy, this site has blown up. Recently, they changed the logo, but they also made changes to the back end of the site that I wanted to draw your attention to. So whether you are brand new to Flowdesk, considering it, or you've been using it for a while, I hope you find this video useful. Be sure to like this video if you like it and subscribe to this channel for more tips about how to grow your biz without breaking the bank. So to log in, you just need to click in the top right hand corner and that is where you would type in your name and email address. When you log into Flowdesk, you'll notice that there have been some updates to the top right hand corner. So we're going to hover over the drop down and click on share Flowdesk. Now, what I love about Flowdesk is they actually equip you to market your affiliate link. So if you've not signed in and clicked on share Flowdesk, that is where you can create your link. So all you need to do is click on the pencil and you can type in whatever code you'd like. And then you click on save when you're done you can copy it now in my case what i've done is i've created a branded link as well so if you go to lashondabrown.com slash flowdesk it will also redirect you to the affiliate link but everyone gets a link so if you've not used it i would strongly 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 encourage you to get on that now Flowdesk is still a very new site. Again, and it's still in beta. So there's opportunity for you to generate passive income simply by sharing it with your friends. Not only that, but they want you to be so successful that they've created a success kit. So you can click on get the kit and utilize these resources to promote Flowdesk on your own. Now, if we go up to integrations, You'll see that there is an integration for Instagram. Recently, they did some updates to that. So you may want to disconnect your Instagram and reconnect it if you've been having issues with Instagram appearing at the bottom of your emails. Then you've got an integration for Shopify. So if you have a Shopify site, this is a simpler way to integrate Flowdesk and Shopify. And then you can also create some zaps directly in Flowdesk itself to help integrate with some common things that people do with the Flowdesk software. So you've got WooCommerce, you've got adding Facebook leads, you've got Google Sheets, Typeform responses, notifications for Slack. So you can create some custom zaps if you'd like, but you can also start with these six. So that's something new that maybe you didn't notice was there. Next is the opt-in setup, which I love. This is harder to customize on platforms like MailChimp, but I love that within Flowdesk, you're actually able to customize what you want it to say when people have to confirm their email. So for mine, I put no one likes spam, not in a can or in an inbox. Before I send you my pricing guide, I wanna confirm you're not a robot. So if you're not a robot, can you click the button below? So if I click on edit, you actually, and we can switch to the new layouts, you actually edit it like a normal email. So you have tons of options to add your branding, to customize the button. So I really love that you're able to do that. You're also able to customize the thank you page. So here I've got Hello, fellow human, thank you for confirming your email. The guide is headed your way. So the reason why I have it specific to my pricing guide is because um, for my other opt-ins, I skip the double opt-in. So the only form that I have set up to receive a double opt-in is one where people would automatically download the resource instead of being added to a workflow. So maybe that's a little top level stuff, but at the end of the day, that's what I chose to do you can change this as often as you want. So you can do a generic opt-in or you can do something specific for something you're promoting at the time. 
Next is the branding tab. So if you click on that, you can see where you can upload your logo. This is super important that you add so that every time you write an email, you're not having to upload your logo. You can also upload your brand palette. So you're able to add five colors. I've got all of mine loaded in so that I can access that as well. You put in your company details, your address, and then also I wanna draw attention to this. If you have a paid Flowdesk account, you can actually turn off the Made in Flowdesk footer. However, it automatically links with your affiliate link if you leave it on. So whether you're actively promoting Flowdesk or not, if people click on the Made with Love in Flowdesk image at the bottom of your email and they sign up for Flowdesk after their free trial, you're going to earn $19 directly in your PayPal account. So you decide based on your strategy whether it makes sense to leave it on or not. Now also, you can link your social links directly in Flowdesk. So you don't have to add any images or any buttons. You can choose the platforms you wanna link, type in the link and just save it. So for me, I just kept it simple. Um, we've got Instagram, YouTube, and LinkedIn, but you can add as many as you'd like. Under domain setup, you can see the difference here. I've actually not verified this domain yet because I've not added these records to my account. So double check, make sure that you verify your domain. When you verify your domain, it does help your delivery rate. Typically 99% of my emails deliver. And one of the main reasons is because I have my domain verified. If you need to do that, just click on Verify Domain and it's going to walk you through exactly how to do it. So it's not overwhelming. Then under Email Setup, just remember that you can actually email from multiple email addresses. It's a default and an alternate. So if you decide, okay, I started with this email address and now I wanna change it, then you can just click on the little dot here and set it as default. Then in overview, you can change your time zone, your password, and your login. So that's what you're gonna see in the top right-hand corner. Now, what you may not have noticed is there have been some changes to the three little dots if you hover over your emails. So you can click on those three dots and you're going to see share, resend to unopens, duplicate, organize, and rename. So when you rename, that is when you're able to name exactly what that email is. So if you're like me, where you just duplicate a past email and type in some new info, renaming it will help you to recognize, well, which one was this? Was this a sales pitch? Was this my e-blast? So you may want to rename your emails as a way to keep track of those things. You can organize your emails into folders before you saw archive. So what I would do if I sent an email to myself and I wanted to clean up my dashboard, I would archive those emails. You can also create other folders. Then you can duplicate, like I said, I'll duplicate an email if I really like the layout of a past one. So that makes it simple to just duplicate and then change the information. You can resend to unopens. A lot of people do not take advantage of this, um, but this is a great way for you to increase the amount of people that open your emails. So send your email, wait a few days, and then you can resend it to people who never opened the email. And that will increase the opportunities that people have to actually open it and see what you have to say. Then if you click on share, that's pretty cool. Um, you can not only view it in the browser, so if you want to view a past email, that's a quick way to open it up. You can also get a shareable link. So for those of you who kind of write many blog posts, you can share the link directly to your emails by using the shareable link, and that way people can see the email content without having to actually sign up for your list. So you can use it as a way to promote your list, uh, but you can find the link directly to your emails by hovering over it, clicking on those three dots, hovering over share, and then clicking on get a shareable link. So that's something interesting that I think a lot of people should utilize and a lot of people don't. So if you've not checked that out, make sure you do that. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, Flowdesk is an email marketing software that's super affordable for people in the bootstrapping phase of their business. It's $19 a month, which you can lock into for the lifetime of your account, and it doesn't increase in price as your list begins to grow. So not only can you leverage having a cheaper price, but the quality of your emails will go up as you're able to utilize their design templates. So if you're looking to switch or you want to try it, try it for 30 days, see if you like it, and let me know what you think in the comments.